Hey guys, it's Sunday, January 8th at about 7.54 p.m. And I'm, a, I'm kind of a hot mess right now, but it's okay. I just wanted to film this really quickly so that I could show you what I'm working on and what this vlog is gonna be about so that I can just talk about what's happening. So ever since I moved into this small bedroom, I actually had to forego a lot of storage space. So I ended up moving a lot of my stuff into the basement and that's okay. Um, like, you know, I really only need like 30% of my actual storage stuff. But then the 30% that I actually brought into this space f had to fit into a really small closet space and it wasn't, you know, the best, you know, the best way to utilize that space. And, um, and then I had a printer that wasn't working, just collecting dust. And so I had to get rid of it somehow, but I didn't know what to do with it. And then I didn't really need a printer right now, so it wasn't super urgent, but I'm really hoping to like get back into selling stickers and you know, just art prints, things like that. And so I was like, you know what? I still need a printer, even just for like home, you know, home needs. And then I think just the fact that my printer wasn't working made me less and less motivated to organize that closet space. So I took the plunge, bought a new printer, and then I ordered like another shelving unit so that I can fit it into that closet. And I'll show you in a little bit um, what that space looks like. So I'm excited for you to see the transformation. Okay, so this is the closet space. And so this actually used to be a bedroom and yeah, but now it's my studio space, but this was the closet space. So these shelves were already in here and then there was a, you know, clothing rack like bar here, but I just removed that. So yeah, just so I could get this extra space. So right now I do have this metal rack here, but it just, yeah, it just wasn't doing it for me. And then again, because my printer was so huge and it couldn't fit on the rack and plus it's not working. Yeah. And I didn't like this rack because these sides, oh, let me turn the light on. Like these sides, the lip kind of like comes up. I don't know if you can see that. So you can't set anything on there like level. So that's kind of frustrating. So let me just start kind of cleaning stuff out, organizing, and yeah. And then you can see the rest of my room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I also have a couple of corporate workshops coming up, so that's what that whole mess is about. So, yeah. Now look at the hot mess that my office has become. Oh man. It always has to get ugly before it gets better, right? <laughs> That's what I tell myself at least. Trust the process, trust the process. I think the good news is, is that this metal rack may not have to go into the basement. I think I can still use it and fit both the white bookshelf and this in it. It just might not be able to be lengthwise. I might have to, you know, grab stuff like this way. So yeah, this way I think it'll fit in the little space between the white shelving unit and the wall. So we'll see. So I got this Mainstays No Tools Assembly white bookshelf and yeah, it really does look like it's No Tools Assembly. That's what it looks like. Pretty easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it together tonight cause I'm kind of on a roll and really excited. So the assembly does seem really easy. I just need to put these, um, you know, corner poles, I don't know what to call them, into the shelves and that's it. <laughs> There's the shelf in its place, yay. So the only bad news is that if the printer goes up in that spot, it actually, <laughs> you know how like the rear paper feed tray goes up? 
So it's at about 16.4 inches. So it's obviously cutting into that this first shelf here, or this first metal shelf of the closet. So I'm debating whether or not to just remove the top shelf of the new white bookshelf or to remove the first shelf of the metal closet shelf. We'll see what happens when the printer arrives and whether I can relocate all of that stuff that's up there. So I've got some thinking and planning to do. But on the plus side, this metal rack fits. So yay. <laughs> slowly coming together. I'm really glad that they both fit in there. I put all of my corporate workshop supplies here on this metal rack. So I have paper, the palettes, my business cards, and down there I have some more um, paint. Then I got my Cricut set up. The printer will go up here. And I did remove that wire shelf. So yeah, I'm thinking of maybe hanging some S hooks up at the top and yeah, just using that vertical space to organize some more. And maybe I'll use this empty wall space for something else, but yeah, it's getting pretty late. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more organizing in the room. Yeah, the office is definitely looking a lot cleaner. I can actually see the floor now, <laughs> but still got a long way to go. Well, the printer arrived and I couldn't be happier Well, and here's the printer in its place. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait. It looks so good on that bookshelf. It does cause the bookshelf to shake when the printer is running. So I hope it doesn't break, but it was a pretty cheap bookshelf, so I may have to upgrade in the future. But yeah, thanks for joining today's vlog. I hope you liked seeing Aslan. <laughs> he likes to make appearances. Um, and I'll see you next time.